the chief, Josh Smith, resigned, said, 22 bucks an hour, I can't even hire candidates here. And in solidarity, all other officers also quit, all six of them. Now the city of 1,000 has no police force, and the sheriff of Goodhue County has had to step in. They're already stretched, and they've now got to cover the county. Sheriff Marty Kelly joins me now live. Sheriff Kelly, it was so distressing to hear that the town of Goodhue now doesn't have any police. When I see a picture like that, granted that's in Oakland, but crime is crime. People need help, and, and police aren't being paid well. They're not being respected. Two questions for you. Can you cover the town of Goodhue? And number two, is this the future for a lot of towns across the country? Well, thank you for having me. Yes, we will be able to take care of Goodhue uh, fairly well. We are short-staffed, um, and we're working on that. Um, but yes, to answer the second question, this is a trend across, for sure, Minnesota, if not the nation. There is just not enough people filling those retirement spots coming out of school. And some of the bigger cities are paying 30 bucks an hour. And this Josh Smith said at 22, what, what, what can we possibly do? I'm going to have you back when I have more time on the program. I want to dig deeper into the possibilities, like what, it, what will it take to get more people interested in policing again and to raise the pay and raise the budgets. But I'm so sorry this has happened to your community, Sheriff, and I'm wishing you and your fellow sheriff's officers luck in covering Goodhue and, um, and hopefully Goodhue rebuilding a police department. Thank you for being on tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.